Before game localization starts, translator must prepare the file and check if it exports and imports into game developer's system. In MemoQ there is a great feature that allows to simulate translation and make it visibly different from the source text as well as check if the extended strings would fit in place of the original text in the game. All this can be checked with pseudo translation feature. How does it work? I enable this feature in options and configure it. And I have several randomization algorithms I can use. I can for example substitute standard Latin characters to polish specific vowels and consonants to check if they will be properly displayed at developer's end. And I will also, in our example here, add some special characters at the end and start of the segment. And in this preview you see what happens to the sentence the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Having prepared the substitution options, I run the pretranslate function with machine translation plugin enabled. The pseudo translation will kick in and all the segments are now pseudo translated. This is a mess, but a useful mess as all Polish specific characters are used both as small and capital letters. All the tags are also present in the pseudo translated file, so now I can export it and deliver to the game developer. The developer can now implement the pseudo translation and if any issues come up, he or we can work it out now, five minutes after I receive the localization file, when we still have a lot of time for bug fixing and not five minutes before the compilation of the final build of the game is about to happen.